Hey guys, it's J Duke Live. Today was officially my research and development day. So I wasn't really planning on making a video today because watching me research on the computer for two hours probably isn't the most exciting thing you've ever seen before. For some of the skills I'm going to be doing, the research part of it is actually really important. You need to research it to get better at it. Juggling, on the other hand, there's not much to research. Even looking up like how to juggle isn't so important. All that's important is actually practicing it. So yesterday, I actually practiced in little increments, 20 minutes here, 40 minutes there, 30 minutes there, all over the place. But today, I actually went one full hour straight of non-stop juggling. This is, this is basically it. I can talk to you guys and juggle now while sitting down, which I have learned is a lot better ah, than standing up. Guys, my, my back hurts. Like right here, it's sore. I didn't expect this at all. It's just juggling. You just throw some oranges in the air and that's it. But if you do it for apparently two hours, your back gets a little bit sore. Tip for the day, juggling works your body out. I think one improvement I saw from yesterday is you'll see that if you remember watching the video, I, I was bouncing a lot. My whole body and my feet were like marching when I was juggling. Today I actually came into my room and practiced in front of my bed, so if I dropped the balls, they actually fell onto the bed and I wouldn't have to bend over and run after them just to find them and pick them up and start over. So I was able to practice a lot more. That also forced me to stand in one spot without moving, so now I don't have to chase them all over the place. I can just throw them still mess up because it's day two. I've had like three hours of practice today total so like I said I, I wasn't going to do a video today because there wasn't much going on but I wanted to explain to you apparently there are two different types of juggling styles. There's the American style which is your nice symmetric juggling and then there's like a European style which is where you kind of like throw them all up and you catch them and do some other crazy stuff. I'm just doing the American one because I've never even really heard of the European one. I don't know what I'm doing! I thought I'd fill you guys in let you see this is kind of where I do all my work, where I do my research, where I do my creative stuff, putting all the videos together, and it's where I play my Xbox. So yeah, let's see how long I can juggle after practicing for a total of three hours today. Here we go. All right. I can't talk and do this at the same time. It's really hard. What am I doing? I'm okay. Okay. I'm, I'm the type of person that always has to be doing something. The only time I'm okay not doing anything is when I wake up on my bed. I'll just wake up, look at the ceiling, and that's it. Nothing else. Nothing else is going on. That's the only time of the day. And juggling is straight productivity. You're just constantly, constantly occupying, oh my goodness, occupying your mind. Nothing else is going on. You just juggle a lot. <laughs> so this was just a little short recap of what my day usually is. Most research days, I really will be at the computer. Usually with some of the new skills coming up, I need to like figure out how to get better at them. Usually there's some strategy involved with it where it's juggling. I think I just gotta practice. And then when I'm ready to move on and learn a trick, I'll research again. I think tomorrow I'm practic practicing on getting slower. It's actually pretty hard to go slow. Like you'd think going fast is harder than juggling, but to go slow, it's just way harder. Well, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this little mini clip of my research day. Look forward for another video tomorrow where I try to do some new things and use something other than oranges. By the way, I tried to eat one of my oranges that I had been juggling with and I tried to eat them today. It was nasty, it was like sour. Apparently I can't eat them after I'm done because they're, they're pretty nasty. So, 
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.